go. Hey everyone, this is Eric with VBAHowTo.com and this video is about setting up cask how to set up cascading combo boxes on your subform. So here I'm gonna demonstrate it briefly and kind of go through it afterwards. Go through it after my brief demonstration and go into more detail. So, and if you want the database uh, that this is on, go to vbhowto.com or click down in the description below, and I'll put the put the link in in for this uh, particular database. Um, and this answer a question that was uh, somebody had posed. How to set up cascading? How to set up cascading combo boxes? So here's how you do it. Um, say we're you know, hypothetically we're dealing with the cash vouchers here, and the account name. We have all these account names here, and the account types. We want to make sure that the vendors go with the vendor uh, types. The vendor is a. a if I click right, so we have vendor, and I'm clicking on vendor. They fire. What happens is that it fires on the after update event, and on the after update event, this particular box right here gets requeried for based on whatever I select the first one. So, so vendor to let's say customer. And customer, and if I make it to expense, I see expense items here. Okay, and then on, on and on, I, I can go. I can fill out the description, credit, debit, and all the good stuff. So let's the same thing I did with this other ones, and we have, we have a main form and a sub form set up. We have a main form sub form. So here's my main ID to. Uh, I'm storing it down here in the table. I'm just here's my main date. I'm just saying, okay, well, it was down on the seventh, and then down here it's my subform. So if I go over here, do a new one, a new record, let's just select them randomly, um, and then the, the account name is going to be uh, it's going to be a counter sale in the account type ID is going to be counter item 2 and then I'm going to make a uh, selection of an expense and and then they should have just expense things I could select from here then I can go on and fill all this out if I want to but the real the real issue is, is in the uh, is in the tables Okay, here's my main table right here, DBL cash vouchers, and I have all these these dates. I only have five records in the table here. The details, we have a main table and a sub table. The main table and a detail table. Cash vouchers is a details table. Uh, we have that we're storing the main ID, which comes from the TBL cash vouchers. Okay, the main ID for each of those, and we have an itemized list of things that belong to order number one. And order number one is this. Okay, for the main ID, somebody set up the account name and the account ID. We we just have we're just store numbers here, so it's really really simple and uh, straightforward and compact. Here I have two, the ID, the main ID of two, and the main ID of four. A real simple setup. Here, I am, if I'm going to have two different combo boxes, I want to make sure that they're stored in two different table names. Okay, the account name. The account name is the main, the main one, the first combo box I have to. I have counter sale, customer, vendor, and here are my IDs. Uh, here are my IDs right here. Okay. Now, if I look at account types, I have all these types. Okay. But the real, the real heavy part of this is this right here. That's a, the meaningful part of it. Is that whenever I requery, I can select 
Like it's so like uh, the 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 items that belong to that main category. So the expanse belong to three. If I look back in here, expanse is number three. So I can see that I have my hierarchy here. I have ones and I have threes that match up with threes. So this is a real key column right here. Okay, before I forget, if you get in value from this, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell notification to be made known of every video I release when I release it. Because I may have a, some random idea that I may want to spit and give, to, give out to y'all. And uh, so you will know it if you don't click the notification bell. Anyway, uh, you can also get this get this database here at vbahowto.com. If you do have any questions, they're pretty much straightforward. The table setup is is what counts. If I look at it, don't it just it has well you can't really see, what four tables and two forms, but that the forms are negligible. So the only I the objects that actually store information are in the tables and it's it's really small okay so this is really your setup here again go to the go to the uh, go to the website vbhowto.com oh before I forget it's a key part of the video too uh, and it's over on my other screen here so I do want to show you this. <laughs> and I'm doing something while, while we're talking while you're waiting. So. Mm -mm. I was just uh, uncommenting some stuff I comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is, right here. The main thing is that we're calling, uh, uh, we're dealing with the after update event to requery the combo boxes. And uh, the only way I found out that it was kind of a, a, a reliable way to do this is with VBA code. And so we do have VBA code here. And since two procedures are using the same bit of code, I just set up a procedure called set set record source. And both these, the current, and that's what I was commenting out because I, I had it, but I realized I needed it again. Uh, the current select record source and the after update select set record source. And the record source is just saying, okay, get give me uh, the ID, account name uh, where the the ref is equal to the account name ID and then set my rows equal that's pretty pretty much it so it's pretty it's pretty simple pretty simple stuff here so again thanks for watching uh, comment if you have any questions in the comment below uh, Comment in the question if you have any below. I think that's the way you say it. <laughs> Comment if you have any questions, okay? Um, thanks for watching and have a great night or day or whatever time of day it is for you.